If I said to you, war emergency power, you'd probably think, what? If I said to you Spitfire, you definitely know what I meant. If I said to you F1 or WRC, I'm sure you know what I meant. If you want technology to add to your car a little bit of water to give it more power, you think, really, how? Well, with the help of this Citizen Miano BNA42 DHY, we've done a video on how that all works. So watch it on MTD right now. We dropped into ERL, who are down the south coast, Peacehaven, and they make the Aquamist product. Now, first of all, what is it? Well, basically, it's um, water injection systems for sort of higher performance cars. Uh, it squirts a fine mist of um, water into the, uh, into the manifold, which gets drawn into the engine, thus cooling down the burn and effectively steam cleaning the engine, uh, enabling you to turn, the, um, turn up the boost because of the um, lower temperature. So my super turbocharged car, pop one of your products in there and it'll make it even more faster. You need one of those, <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. But this is your first foray. Uh, well, you've got an old machine, about 15 years old. It was, it was still working well, but this is your first foray into the Citizen Miano machine. Why? Well, it's got a far smaller footprint than the uh, other machines we looked at. It's nice and compact. Um, we've, got the, um, we've got the sub spindle, we've got the... Um, we've got two turrets on there, so it's brilliant, very good. Certainly speeds things up anyway. There's a previous machine, single turret, single spindle, so doing two ops, things like that. Yes, yes, indeed, yeah. But uh, we can just pick up the um, component now and it's finished. Right, so nice and simple. Now, in terms of turrets, driven tooling, eight stations on the main turret, six on the rear, and driven tooling on the main turret? Yes, yes, indeed, yeah. yeah. And have you... Have you gone into your simultaneous and superposed machining yet, or a bit too early for that? Not as yet, no. I mean, ho hopefully we'll, uh, we can do that, but um, yeah, we haven't really had the call for it at the moment, but we've got the potential to if we need to. Okay. Now, again, it's the first time you've used a Miano machine, and your salesman and the support from, from Citizen Miano, how's that been? Brilliant, yeah, very good. Um, training was, uh, was good, explained everything. Yeah. I can phone him up whenever with yeah. silly little questions, but yeah, very good, very impressed. Who's, I mean, who's the, who's the guy giving the support? Because he was he, well, his wife was on maternity leave, or he was on maternity leave. He was on maternity leave. Yeah, Andrew Unsworth. Yeah, right. lovely bloke, yeah. and he's always more than happy to uh, to help. Okay, just drop that name in there because you want to. You know, it's not just about the machine; it's about the whole support package. Yes. Okay. Now I see you got from the full. You know, the other end there, you got your Iron Kabar feed. How's that been so far? Brilliant, it, it faultless really. I haven't really had to do an awful lot other than adjusting um, the diameter. Yeah. I haven't had to change the um, sleeves on it. So yeah, it's uh, been brilliant. Okay. So on this machine, you've got up to 42 mil because it's a BNA 42 DHI. Let me just confirm that. But um, you've only run up to about 16 mil bar so far. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Stuff we do is all fairly sort of small. So uh, yeah, we, we don't need to. So but changing that bar from say five mil to 16 mil, it's a very easy process. Yeah, it's a doddle. Yeah. It, if you haven't got to change the liner, it's just a case of um, turning up the uh, diameter yeah. and, um, yeah. yeah, how far it comes out. Yeah, so it's a doddle, yeah. yeah nice and easy. Now, I'm thinking this is small footprint, but a very powerful machine, but you're not, and obviously with the bar feed, you're thinking you can do big batch runs, but you're not looking at difficult materials or big batch runs, are you? What are you actually looking to machine? Well, it's mainly brass and a little bit of aluminium, so, um, yeah, nothing exotic. <laughs> but, no, it's, um, yeah, great. Okay. And some of the parts, quite, quite tricky and tight tolerances? Yeah, yeah, probably, we're probably looking at plus or minus a couple of microns on uh, or some of the parts. But um, certainly the, the people from um, Citizen suggested a sliding head, but um, mm. we really don't do the sort of volume that that would... Um, that would need so um, yeah no we're more than happy with, uh, with that. Okay, so essentially you're not really a subcontract then machine shop you're doing manufacturing for your own products they're only needing batches of maybe two three four hundred at a time. Yes that's it all the stuff we make is uh, is for ourselves so we don't do any subcontracts. Right. So you mentioned about things like engraving and before you were doing it two ops then the third op essentially the engraving but all coming off in one bit from this machine. Yes yes indeed yeah yeah so any date codes or logos or whatever that will go, and part numbers all gets done on the machine. So making it nice and simple, so I get, it's not about big batch runs, it's about accuracy and just making, speeding up the process. But the, the accuracy, the surface finish, has that improved? 
yeah, it's been brilliant, yeah. Now the, um, yeah, yeah. Simple as that, yeah, it has. So I'm going to look, next part, is, I'm going to pop this one into your hand there. So just, again, talk us through, because it's got quite a fine hole through there. Yeah, we, um, the smallest jets we do, that down to about 0.4. Um, this is a, a 0.6. Um, we've got the um, part numbers, date codes on there. So again, it's just a case of picking it up from the box and sending it off to the platers. So again, making your life a lot easier. Indeed, yes, yes, indeed. I say making it easier as well. I see you've got your fanet controls here. There are options, but fanet on your previous machine, that's why you've got that option? Yes, yes. In, I can take, me, take programs off of the, uh, off of the Akoka and, and go straight on there with, it, with sort of minimal um, editing. So, brilliant. Okay. And also, new to this type of machine, so you've got the Alcart Wizard as well? Yep, yep. That all seems to work very well, yep. Now, I'm going to look at one final piece, and hopefully the cameraman can, can pick that up in there. So if you just talk me through what you're doing with this and, and how this machine has helped. Right, so basically this is a um, little connector we're making, swivel connector. Um, we couldn't have actually done it on the other machine because of the, um, because of the hole coming in at 90 degrees. So um, th this machine just make, makes it so much easier. Um, it would have been two operations, one on the mill. So, um, yeah, it's, it really has made things an awful lot easier for us. So some nice little components there, but it's Richard's product ultimately. So where did it actually originate from? Well, it dates back to the days of the Spitfire. They used to, um, they used to have a button they used to push, which used to squirt water into the engine, got, get them home a bit quicker. Okay. And then subsequently, I understand it's been uh, F1, WRC, and more recently, what, what cars is it going in now? Um, Porsches, Bentleys. Very nice. So if Richard, I mean, he's, you're obviously developing the product all the time. If he comes up with a new idea, change on here? Certainly, yeah. 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 And easy, easy to program, easy to get set up and run? Yeah, yeah. We're still cutting our teeth on it a bit at the moment, but uh, yeah, great. Not okay. a problem. Okay, but you say you cut your teeth, this will give you the flexibility to do even more intricate parts if you want to. Yes, yes, indeed, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Dave? Great little insight into your first Miano and fantastic products and giving you footprint, flexibility, accuracy. What more do you want? That's it. So that's ERL, that's Citizen Miano.